Today I want to talk about the function system output. Of course you are familiar with the function dump or echo, where you simply make an output in the web browser. That looks in that case like this. Nothing special here. So what is the function system output about? It makes an output not in the web browser, it makes an output on the console. And in case that makes sense, in case you don't want to disturb the output in the browser because maybe you make no output, you are in a silent block or you produce JavaScript or whatever, or it's a listener that runs in the background, it's a schedule a task or whatever, in that case you make an output on a system output on the console. That In that simple example I make a uh, outputs the date, the second argument true just means make a new line. So if I output that or execute that, I get an output of course in the browser, but I get one on the console. You see I get a date and a new line as expected. Um, there is also a third argument with that function. That with that function, uh, that argument, you can decide in which stream it should output. There are two streams: as the output stream and the error stream. That makes sense. Maybe the output stream is disabled. You can disable that also in the Lucy configuration, in the XML file itself. And so maybe it makes sense to put it in the error stream. Um, and that looks like this. Again, no output here, and here the same output. The reason, the reason, um, the error output stream are shown in the same way on the, on the console, but in other channels it could be different. Going on, you can also uh, pass complex objects to system output, not only strings or uh, simple values. So in that case, I. I pass the CJS code. Let's see what happens in that case. You see, it gets serialized and output in the on the console. Maybe you are interested where the system output came from. Maybe you have 20 system outputs on your side and you don't have no clue which one makes that output. And for that it's always nice to have a, a marker as you maybe know in the with with the CF dump tag you have that always that information so when you have a dump and you have a mouse you make a mouse over you see you have the the where it is in which template and on which line that is. So that's a helpful information. So in case of system output, when you add a print stack trace in that way, uh, Lucy will detect that and add the stack trace. So executing that. Then looks like this. You see here we are. And then you get the stack trace. In the stack trace, you have also where it was, example, blah, 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 line two. I hope this video was helpful to you. Have a good one.